let you know that I, uh, I'm at a crossroads and, uh, I want to leave this message to let you know that, uh, I'm probably not going to make it much longer. I started playing voice messages and realized that, uh, you know, it was Jeremiah's voice. Three days later, Dwayne Johnson wonders if his son would still be here had he not missed the call. And I can only imagine how alone, alone he must have felt. Letters he wrote his father while he served in the Army show Jeremiah had been struggling to deal with post-traumatic stress. The only thing he had in his mind was he just wanted to be left alone and raise his son. But between the signs of desperation and depression, the love he had for his son Jonathan always shone through. Putting his son J.J. in a and a backpack like he had over in the, in the war zone. They marched with the big pack on the back and we'd be in working on his motorcycle or something and he's hanging on his back with the feet out the, just laughing the whole time. Johnson hopes his son will be remembered not for the tragedy, but for his undying dedication to Jonathan. He needs to know his dad was an extremely intelligent, but compassionate, brave beyond courageous, determined. He'll always wish that night had happened differently, but either way, he says he couldn't be prouder of Jeremiah. I try to look at it in a good way. He was just wanting to at least let me know that he loved me and he had the respect to tell me goodbye. This is me saying goodbye. <laughs>